Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha children. Uh, you're in unity, uh, the retirement of partners. Can you guess uh, why a partner would like to retire from a firm? So there can be uh, more than one reason. So he want to retire from the firm maybe because he's very ill or uh, maybe because um, he is uh, old or maybe he's got a better offer or he's not able to get along with other partners in the firm. So he wants to retire. Right. See, in the previous chapter, admission of partners, you saw when a partner is admitted into the firm, when you need more capital, when you want to expand the firm, or you have somebody who is having a tech, uh, better uh, marketing skill or managerial skill, and you want that person uh, to be in your firm, so you are going to uh, uh, add him, okay? You want to uh, add him to your firm. So that is the admission of partners, to admit them into your firm. In case of retirement of partner, a person who is leaving the firm is called as retiring partner or outgoing partner. So he might leave because of the reasons I told you, might be ill or he wants to leave because he's very old or he's got a better offer. Right. So um, the, uh, in this chapter, we're going to see the accounting adjustments that you'll be making when a partner retires from a firm. So when uh, the partner, the partner is liable for all the activities of the firm till the date of retirement, right? And the person who is going out is called as an outgoing partner, right? So when the partner leaves the firm, then the existing partner will continue in the firm with a new agreement. That means an old agreement will come to an end and the firm will be reconstituted. When you're reconstituting your firm, you have to make a lot of adjustments. So what are all the adjustments that you should make when a partner is retiring? You have to distribute the profit and loss, the accumulated receipts. What are reserves? Reserves are nothing but accumulated profit and loss over the period. Previous years, profit and loss would have accumulated. Okay, that uh, uh, will be um, I think, uh, stored as a reserve. Okay, it can be in a reserves include a reserve fund, workman compensation or um, uh, investment fluctuation fund. All these are reserves. So all these should be distributed to the old partner, to all the partners and to the retiring partner when he is leaving the firm, right? So a new uh, firm is reconstituted now and the old partner is going to leave and you're going to have a new agreement. So according to section um, 32, subsection 1 of the Indian Partnership Act of 1932, it says that a partner can retire from the firm with the consent of all the partners or if there's an express, express agreement from the other partners okay by the partners that uh, he should retire in accordance with an express agreement okay by the partner then third one is uh, if the partnership at, is at will if the partnership is at will then he can give a notice stating that he is intention stating the intention to leave the firm so there are um, uh, three points there in uh, uh, in this section okay so uh, the first is with the consent of the old partner he can retire and then there's an express agreement by the partners. Then third is um, if the partnership is at will, he can give a notice and uh, express his intention to leave and then he can leave. Right. Now the retiring partner is liable for all the acts till the date of retirement. So when he is going to retire, he has to advertise, he has to give a public notice stating that he doesn't belong to the firm anymore. Okay, so, uh, so that the company does not enter into contract keeping people under the belief that you are still the partner or uh, because he's not liable for any activities of the firm after his retirement. So he should make people know that uh, he is no more uh, connected with the firm and he has retired from the firm. So he should give a public notice. So the company should settle. The company should settle all his uh, thing profit, his, uh, the profit, all the reserves, Mm, you should uh, share all the reserves, whatever belongs to him, the goodwill that he has earned. If the company should share, uh, you know, should calculate a new profit sharing ratio and the gain ratio when the partner is uh, retiring. Right. So first thing is um, then revaluation of the assets and liabilities. When the partner is retiring, you should give his share of uh, assets. Okay. Because he is, he is uh, also, um, uh, because he is responsible for all the acts that has happened in the firm, in his presence. Okay, so he should share the assets and as well as the liabilities. So he'll be the you have to distribute the profit and loss. You have to share the reserves and surpluses. Then you should uh, treat the goodwill 
then you should revalue the assets and liabilities then you should uh, settle his um, uh, thing money okay whatever belongs to that uh, retiring partner you have to settle and send him and then you have to prepare the gain ratio of the existing partner right so uh, to begin with the first adjustment is um, distribution of profit and loss and reserves and surpluses as i told you profit and loss of previous years which are not distributed to the partners are called as reserves reserves can be reserve fund it can be general reserve it can be workman compensation it can be even investment fluctuation fund so the first exercise you're going to learn how to pass journal entries for the reserves profit and loss okay so workman compensation investment fluctuation fund okay let us go into the exercise children now uh, we'll just share um, all right now uh, going to the first problem so unit 6 uh, this is the first problem distribution of accumulated profit reserves and losses deena surya and janaki are partners sharing profit and loss in the ratio 5 to 3 is to 2 now uh, what is the ratio in which they'll be sharing the profit 5 is to 3 is to 2 so 5 by 10 3 by 10 2 by 10 this is the ratio in which they are going to share their profit right now uh, what is the journal entry you are going to pass now who is going to retire here deena is going to retire deena surya and janaki are partners sharing profit and loss in the ratio 5 to 3 is to 2 on 31 3 2018dina retired on the date of retirement the books of the firm showed a reserve fund of 50000 pass necessary journal entries to transfer the reserve fund so journal entry okay once you are um, familiar with all the adjustments then it is easy for you to do a big problem uh, combining all the adjustments that you have learned first you should be thorough as to what journal entry you should pass when there is loss when there is profit when there is reserve how to transfer it to the capital account right so first now first entry is reserve fund reserve fund reserve fund account data to for the existing partners dina dina's capital dina's capital account second one you have surya surya's capital account then next you have janaki's capital account so what is the total amount you have here let us uh, write in rupees 50000 is the reserve fund accumulated reserve right now how are you going to share this 50000 you are going to share among the partners 50000 into 5 by 10 right so this will go away zero zero cancels to so 25000 for dina second you have um, surya surya is going to get uh, 15000 how it's very easy see here 3 into 3 15000 the balance you have 10000 so you should always tally and see total 50000 right now um, this is the first journal you have to pass right So being reserve fund, being reserve fund transferred to the existing partner in the old profit sharing ratio, profit sharing ratio, transferred to the partners in the old profit sharing ratio. old profit sharing ratio right okay see you with the next adjustment children thank you